We all have funny things when it comes to our appetites. There are just some things that don't seem edible to us, like sardines and peanut butter. Here on our set, I make sure that we have baby food applesauce. I actually really do, I love this stuff. Now there's one hunger that could help the world for a thousand years to come. You might think it drastic, but science has created an appetite for plastic. Sorry, I'm still thinking about the sardines and peanut butter. Even though scientists are just in the beginning stages of developing it, this plastic-eating bacteria could one day play a significant part in fixing our global plastic pollution problems. About three years ago, a team of Japanese researchers discovered a bacteria that survived on eating plastic, the kind used in single-use drink bottles. The revelation inspired molecular biologist John McGeehan and chemical engineer Greg Beckham to study the enzyme, eventually accidentally producing an improved version of it. The duo spoke to me from the United Kingdom. Hi, John and Greg, and welcome to Innovation Nation. Hi, Mo, and thanks for having us. Hi, Mo. Tell me about this plastic-eating enzyme. So the plastic-eating enzyme is called PETES, and that stands for an enzyme that eats PET, polyethylene terephthalate. That's the plastic that's used for single-use drinks bottles and carpets and lots of textile materials. Can you explain how it actually eats the plastic? PET is made up of repeating units, a bit like Lego bricks, and they're stacked together in long chains, and that, that gives the properties that we use in, in the plastics. What the enzyme does, it acts a bit like a pair of molecular scissors and just snips up the polymer into its constituent building blocks again. John, Greg, and their teams began the exploratory process in the UK using a high-energy X-ray machine. This powerful instrument gave them the information to understand the molecular structure of the PETES enzyme. The team modified the enzyme and discovered it had produced a version that could digest PET about 20% better than the original. Now, PET is just one type of plastic. So the duo cautions us against exaggerating the findings, which included 21 authors from five institutes. But they say there is great hope. So currently it's projected that if a PET bottle, for example, gets out into the ocean, it's gonna last about 450 years or so. Pet Ace in a laboratory environment should be able to break down PET uh, in the order of weeks to months. And they're actively working towards getting to an enzyme that could break down plastic in just a matter of days or even hours. Well, thank you both for this very important innovation. Thank you for having us, absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.